Hello. The Eurozone crisis is getting more and more complex. As a result, the bond market is suffering from increasing volatility with a low level of predictability. For investors, decisions are harder to take. Kuhn van der Malle, Global Head of Fixed Income, is here today to give us his headlines. Kuhn, hello. Hello. So can we say that the situation in the Eurozone is deteriorating? Well, the least we can say is that the situation is becoming more complex. And so it's important to highlight that this increased level of complexity is linked to the fact that the returns of investments in bonds are more and more linked to political processes. So investors used to deal with economic questions, but today, for instance, the future of the Eurozone is mainly in the hands of political leaders and even depending on the outcome of elections. So one can state that investment analysis is more than ever a combination between economical and political analysis. And regarding this political analysis, while we deeply welcome the increased focus on growth that we are seeing today within the Eurozone, because it's, it's obvious that growth is needed to grow out of the debt levels within the European countries, but one should realize that growth can hardly be created if we cannot increase the debt levels. So it's up to the European leaders to rightly strike the right balance between austerity and economic stimulus. But in the meantime, should investors stay away from the bond market? No, no, no. There are still plenty of opportunities. But knowing that the Eurozone sovereign crisis will remain with us for sure for a couple of years, right. one should question some established beliefs. Mm -hmm. So we should diversify and well at three levels. First level is for those investors that are mainly invested in pure Euro government bonds. Well, we strongly advise to look beyond government bonds and invest in corporate bonds. For instance, Valet, which is very diversified geographically, yes. or Barclays, uh, strong capitalization, uh, high level of deposits, are very good opportunities to diversify a pure government bond portfolio. Second level is for investors that are mainly invested in Euro or the Europe, well, to look beyond the borders of the Europe, of mm -hmm. the Eurozone, because internationally you have opportunities, the strong AAA countries, Australia, Canada, Scandinavian countries, they are very sound investments, but they tend to be a little bit expensive. That's why we mainly look at emerging markets. Emerging market bonds, for example, look at Qatar, very sound credit metrics, but still an attractive yield. And then the last level is regarding currencies. A lot of investors are mainly invested or exclusively invested in euro currency, mm -hmm. while knowing that a lower value of the euro would be one of the solutions for the eurozone crisis while well, we strongly advise to diversify the currency base. We look at US dollar, which could, could go up to 1.20 in a couple of months, Scandinavian countries, or once again, a basket of emerging market currencies. So it's true, it's, there are still plenty of opportunities within the fixed income world. Kuhn, thank you very much for your explanations. Thank you. Diversification, this is the key message to keep in mind, and we will, of course, continue to follow the bond market and come back with more news on the topic. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.